हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर फाइव ऑन परमिटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन इन दिस लेक्चर ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट जनरलाइज परमिटेशन दैट इज परमिटेशन इन विच वी एलाउ रिपीटेशन टू काउंट द नंबर ऑफ अरेंजमेंट्स सो बिफोर गोइंग फॉर टू डेज रिजल्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस परमिटेशन विथ इन डिस्टिंगबल ऑब्जेक्ट्स और आइडेंटिकल ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो बिफोर गोइंग फॉर दिस रिजल्ट we understand one example suppose i consider the word c s double e so we can see there are three letters in this word and uh, among these three letters letter e is repeated two times and s is not repeated so we can see that this letter e is an indistinguishable object we can use the word i n d i s t i n g u i s h a b l e indistinguishable object and it is repeated two times now suppose we are interested in constructing different three letter words using the letters of this word c how many different three letter words can be constructed using the letters of given word which is c or s double e we want to count the number of different letters that can be constructed using the letters of the given word so we are interested in the number of permutations of the letters of this word but we can see here this object or letter e is repeated two times or it is uh, identical object and uh, whatever theory we have discussed so far in which we are taking permutations of distinct objects here all the objects are not distinct this e is identical or e is repeated two times so how to count the number of three letter words that can be constructed from the letters of this word in which letter e is repeated two times so before counting that number first we count the number of permutations of three different letters in which we denote this first e by e1 and second e we denote by e2 first we assume that this e1 and e2 as distinguishable letters we use e1 for this position of letter e and e2 for this position of letter e and now i have three distinct objects if i count e1 and e2 as different letters so for this we can count the number of different three letter words that we can construct using these three letters so that is going to be number of permutations of three objects taken all at a time that is 3p3 which is 3 factorial divided by 0 factorial and that turns out to be 6 this is uh, we are using the formula of permutations npr and this formula is permutation of n distinct objects taken r at a time if we count e1 and e2 as different objects then here all the objects are distinct that is repetition is not allowed and when repetition is not allowed we use this formula to count the number of permutations of all the objects taken all at a time and uh, we can uh, by trial and error we can write this six different letters also that we can construct using these three letters for example we can start with e1 and e2 s e1 e2 then i can change the position of e1 and e2 so i will get another letter similarly i can put this s between e1 and e2 and i change the position of e1 and e2 i will get different letters and here s we have written at the first position so that we can write at the last position and uh, here i can change the position of e1 and e2 
so these are the six different letters that we can construct from the letters of this word in which we consider that all the letters are distinct and uh, that number is given by this formula because here repetition repetition of letters is not allowed we can directly find that that number of letters that can be constructed from the letters of this word is 6 and that I have listed here. Now suppose we consider E1 and E2 as equal. Now I assume that suppose E1 and E2 are equal. So in that case we can see because E1 and E2 are equal these two will be same because E1 and E2 are equal these two are same similarly because e1 and e2 are equal we can see that these two are also same and because e1 and e2 are equal these two are also same so now our number is reducing instead of six now i have three letters that can be constructed from the letters of this word c so here we can see if repetition is not allowed if we consider all the letters as distinct then we have six different letters that can be constructed but if repetitions are allowed that is if we count this e1 and e2 as same letter e then we can see that there are three letters that can be constructed from the letters of given word so we can see uh, if repetition is not allowed then there are six if repetition is allowed then there are three letters so here we can see that if we divide 6 by 2 then we have three letters so what is special about this denominator so because this letter e is repeated two times we are dividing this number by 2 and this 6 by 2 can be rewritten as 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial so because there are total three letters we are writing three factorial here out of those three letters we have one letter which is repeated two times that we write in the division as two factorial and this is not uh, only true for this particular problem it is in general true as a result that if i have n objects suppose i have n objects total number of n objects and out of those n objects there are some objects say objects of type 1 which are repeated n1 times suppose there are some another objects of type 2 which are repeated n2 times and uh, suppose there are n suffix k objects of type k which are repeated n into k n suffix k times then the number of arrangements are given by using the n objects they are given by n factorial in the numerator and in the denominator uh, we have to write n1 factorial times n2 factorial and into nk factorial so whenever you are interested in the permutations with indistinguishable objects indistinguishable or identical objects that is some objects of some type are, are repeated in the given objects so in that case you have to use this result the number of different permutations of n objects where there are n1 objects which are indistinguishable of type 1 there are n2 indistinguishable objects of type 2 and there are n suffix k indistinguishable objects of type k is given by n factorial divided by n1 factorial n2 factorial and so on nk factorial so this n1 is the number of times some object is repeated or some object is identical or there are n1 identical objects of type 1 similarly n2 identical objects of type 2 and nk identical objects of type k so we have to divide by this n1 factorial n2 factorial nk factorial 
that total number of objects is divided by this repeated number of objects so you keep in mind this thing whenever they ask you to write down this type of permutations that how many letters can be constructed using the letters of the given word then in given word you have to check whether any letter is repeated or not if some letters are repeated then you have to divide by the factorial of that repeated number for example instead of this suppose i have this letter m a double s so here i can see there are total four letters so in the numerator i will write four factorial and out of these four letters this s is repeated two times so i have to divide by two factorial and this number will give me the number of four letter words that can be constructed using the letters of this word m a double s that is mass so sometimes they ask this type of problems in gtu exam here there is some, some another problem of that type how many seven letter words can be formed using the letters of the word benzene so in this letter first we have to see whether uh, or what is the total number of objects 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so there are total seven letters and we have to decide the number of words of length 7 that can be constructed using the letters of this word so i have to identify the number of letters which are repeated here we can see this letter n is repeated two times and letter e is repeated three times so i have to uh, divide this seven factorial because total number of letters are seven and this e is repeated three times so i will write three factorial and this two is repeated two times so i n is repeated two times so i will write two factorial and this is the number of seven letter words that can be constructed using the letters of the word benzene so this thing we have to remember and we have to write systematically here i have written that in given word benzene there are total seven letters among which letter e is used three times or repeated three times and letter n is repeated two times therefore the number of seven letter words which can be formed using the letters of the word benzene is equal to the number of permutations of total seven objects where there are three indistinguishable objects of type 1 that is letter e is repeated three times and there are two indistinguishable objects of type 2 that is letter n is repeated two times and that number is given by 7 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 2 factorial and that turns out to be 420 so we can construct 427 letter words there are different 427 letter words that can be formed using the letters of the word benzene in which this n is identical and it is repeated two times and later e is identical it is repeated three times so all you have to remember is divide by the factorial of the number for which given letter is repeated so this is all about this session in this session uh, we have discussed permutations with indistinguishable or identical objects and we have to remember this formula whenever some letters are repeated in the given word we have to use this formula you can try to count the number of letters that can be constructed using the letters of the word success and you can write your answer in the comment section thanks for watching